Good morning, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on, tw on Twitter. Wow, that got weird. Sorgatron.com is the blog. You can subscribe to YouTube, iTunes, and such uh, from there. And, uh, and this morning, uh, kind of, I guess, an emotional-ish morning. Uh, if you're a watcher of some late-night stuff going on, um, you know, the big news, of course, is uh, Jon Stewart uh, officially announcing that he will be leaving The Daily Show at some point. Uh, really up in the air, just like the decision has happened, the details have not been worked out, and uh, you know, it, it, and and it, it's sad to a point, but you kind of wondered as things were were shifting. You, we have uh, uh, stuff like uh, uh, Stephen Colbert kind of moving on to his new role that uh, uh, you know soon to be replacing David Letterman of all people. Um, you you have the nightly show moving in, you have at midnight, you have a lot of shifts that have been happening on late night in general. Uh, plus, you know, look at a guy like John Stewart. He has uh, I think has seen a couple of comments that you know maybe he'll uh, take this uh, directing thing on a little bit more after his recent experience, you know, that he's he's moving out from there. But but talking that he's been there for uh for 17 years, which is a minute Amazing in television, first of all. Um, I think only uh, uh, news anchors are at places uh, that long. Uh, maybe not for long for some of them uh, lately, right? Uh, but uh, it's uh, it seems to make sense. And um, and uh, and I started thinking about you know with this late night kind of thing, you know, John Stewart may be our generation's Johnny Carson in that regard. I, I know, okay, that's blasphemy. It's Johnny Carson. He was great. He did this. He did all kinds of different things. Um, but looking at what they developed with this show, I mean, we've had sh uh, comedy politico shows in the past, right? We've had our Dennis Millers. We've had our Bill Mars. You know, we've had all kinds of other stuff. But I don't think anything uh, permeated, you know, culture like this This did with The Daily Show. You know, I, I, I think this is something that, um, you know, gets... People like me, they're, I guess, on the fringe. Like, I don't care enough to watch the nightly news. I think a lot of it's BS, you know. Uh, I'm not going to watch the news channels. And, and let me know what is going on out there. A little spin. It's got satire, you know. Um, and I say, and I, I don't, I, I, I worry about what this makes me look like as a person, you know. Do I look uneducated if I say I get my news from The Daily Show, you know. But in the, in the long run, if they're talking about it on a show like this, then it's news that I am probably should I should be informed on, and I am informed on, and I can look further and, and sometimes do uh, beyond you know that conversation do, and they do have real deep conversations with their interviews and 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 everything, I, I, and 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 look at what this has spin off to. I mean, this has spin off to really its own kind of subgenre. We have somebody uh, in John Oliver that's gone to HBO and has done the Daily Show. With a lot of Daily Show, like I, I said, John Oliver has it could, he's doing his version of the Daily Show that he wouldn't have been able to do. Not only with the swearing and everything like that. If you look at the stories that they do, um, th there's two elements. One, they have they have assets. So when they do have a big gag, they put a lot of there's a lot of HBO money going into that versus what they probably get on a Comedy Central. Um, you know, I, I you, you can you can kind of tell when you look at any, anything on Comedy Central that there's uh, not a lot of budget behind it. Um, it, it's more the content. It's the comedians that are making uh that are making it work, right? Uh, but John Oliver, he also has a week to. You know, he he has a week to 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 put these pro these uh programs together. They're not rushing to get a couple gags out on the air every night. Um, and they can go so much deeper to the point where they've obviously, uh, uh, hit on some, some topics that, you know, have really resonated, have really been eye opening. Again, it was like, wow, that's really happening with, you know, marketing to doctors, you know, for instance, on this, on this latest clip, you know, how he's tackled topics that typically nobody would care about in this demographic, uh, or look into, but probably should care in this demographic, demographic like net neutrality. You know, uh, one of the few, few instances, and I listen to a lot of tech podcasts, one of the few instances where I was like, okay, I get what net neutrality is. And it's it's, it's a, something that I still 
battle to wrap my head around, you know, as a person who's creating stuff on the internet, I really should get it a little more. Right. Um, but I think, I think they're, they're doing the best part of that, you know, and there's gags in there, you know, I mean, they just showed Walter White, Walter White on this one, uh, about marketing to doctors and stuff. And, 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 uh, uh, but still, they do go deep with it, um, and they're not—they don't have that giant, crazy schedule that you see from, um, you know, uh, a Daily Show where they are four nights a week. You know, when hey, it's only four nights a week. It's like, yeah, but it's four nights a week. They're providing, you know, they're 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 developing, uh, you know, what fifteen minutes of content uh, in an interview. You know, and John Oliver is doing, you know, twenty-five minutes of and maybe an interview um, once a week for. I don't know how many weeks he did for that first season. I don't wonder what the schedule is going to be here for this. I guess it's officially season two. So, um, but it's a long departure again from the Dennis Millers and the Bill Mars. You know, um, you got you got the nightly the what was it the nightly show? Is that what we're, what, what the the new one was? Where it's it's really more just a roundtable. We say it's a it's a Bill Maher without uh, you know uh, somebody was saying uh, in, in my circle it's Bill Maher without the uh, uh, religious views or something like that, um, which is uh, eh, to a point. It's more entertaining for one thing. Um, it's more it's more um, 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 contained than the conversations I think they have Bill Maher. So I think they I haven't watched for the longest time. I felt like they got really shouty on that show. Um, and uh, at some points, I think that show is just as bad as the stuff that they they slam. You know. Um, and, in, and this is like the whole news side of things, you know, versus, you know, it's interesting to look at late night and uh, and uh, to the point where I was like, well, I kind of want to watch a little of everything. You know, Conan, I haven't watched Conan in forever. Big fan of Conan, you know. Uh, Jimmy Fallon is doing a really, really good job. Uh, I've had this discussion lately with people of um, making The Tonight Show something you want to watch by making YouTubeable moments. Like, even if you're not sitting there watching the entire thing, uh, you, you can go to work the next day and be like, oh, did you see this thing on Fallon last night? And they're they're smart, and they are all over. Um, they are all over social media. They are on YouTube. You know, for so much that they're bringing people in to watch that show on a nightly basis, um, they certainly, you know, they certainly, um, you know, are, are trying to get people online into it um you know the stuff they do with the roots the stuff that they, they they take the 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 people and and, and the the people on the show and put them in these games you know which I'm, i don't even know if it's tonight's show it may have been the 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 show before uh where you saw tom cruise smash an egg on his head <laughs> you know um you know stuff to talk about and it's it's they're really 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 good at something like that i can't wait to see what uh colbert does with uh his uh david letterman spot in in, in opposition you know and, and the cool part is you know whereas before you know for the last 20 30 years we had the late night wars and all this stuff uh, all these people seem to be buddies how many times has fallon been on colbert you know <laughs> you know little gags you know or was was uh steward and stuff and now you know as you see at least two of them are on the major network you know stuff you know it's it's uh it's really cool to see uh that you know anyways uh, but let me know what you think. What do you think about John Stewart leaving? It was a pastime. Um, um, what do you think they'll do to replace him? They got a few months, of, and admittedly, in his own address last night on the show, um, they don't have a plan. They just know there is going to be a plan, um, and they don't know the thing. Uh, he's got a contract till September, uh, and that it could go less or more depending on what they decide to do and how they decide to do it. So. Um, so really, really cool. Good for John Stewart. He created something really good. He, he really created a franchise. Um, the other nice thing is much like, you know, we feel like, uh, Saturday Night Live really spun out and created a lot of stars over the years. And, you know, you always look at, uh, movies and shows and be like, oh yeah, that's an SNL alumni, you know? Um, I think you look at now, you know, the Daily Show has done the same thing, you know? And I'm not sure if it will do so well with somebody else at the helm, but the Daily Show has created your Colbert, your nightly show. However, that's going to go. We're only three weeks in at this point. Um, your, you know, of course, Colbert going on to what he's going on to. How many people have gone, John Oliver? You know, how many people have gone on from the Daily Show to do other things you see in movies? You know, um, you know, Ron. Ray, 
if a guy's not right, Ron Rakel's Asif Bonvi, um, you see it in movies, you know, uh, it's a good starting platform for, uh, comedians, you know, and, uh, and, and they're invading everything else, you know, and I think that's something I hope they're proud of over there, what they've done, the daily show, but maybe now that he can step away from the daily doings of the daily show, uh, maybe you can finally take a look at that, you know, so what do you think? John Stewart, all this stuff on late night. Especially, what do you think about Jon Stewart leaving The Daily Show on Twitter, at Sorgatron, or comments to this video on the YouTube. Just search for Good Morning with Michael Sorg. That's me. We're incorporated. Oh, I'm not wearing a tie. We received our incorporation for Sorgatron Media. So, nobody can sue me now, I think is the thing. And in my first uh, act, I forgot to turn on. Ha! There's a stage light for this one. So, with that one, we'll see you guys next time. Have a good morning. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.